Happy Monday, everyone. Carmen Broxma here from Arvada, Colorado. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I'm here with episode number three of our Mold Joy Monday. So today we are going to still continue to work um, with another inspiration on the strawberry, the sweet strawberry bundle. So that includes this stamp set and this punch. And, but I wanted to focus on also the paper that comes from the Europe Peach, Europe Peach um, designer series paper. And so the three patterns that we're gonna work on today are these three patterns right here. We're gonna use this polka dot one, which is the back of this. We're gonna use this blue stripe one, which is the back of this. And then we're gonna use this green one that's um, the back of this. So this is the pear pizzazz and this is the balmy blue, I believe. And this has a variety of the Calypso coral colors in it. So that's gonna be our focus today. So I just wanted to give you a few little uh, tips on what I did. So when I went to, um, because you're gonna be punching these out. And so the, here's the flower right here. So you only need a little strip. And so on this strip, this is about a one inch wide. Um, and then I went ahead out with the balmy blue is I didn't stamp at full strength. I did a stamp off because I didn't want the flowers to be, the outline to be really stark. So I inked up my stamp, I stamped it off. And then I went directly onto my paper. And then that made the image a little lighter and not so stark blue. And then you just would go ahead and stick it into your punch and punch it out. You know, line it up nicely and then punch it out. But I'm not gonna do that. I, I've already punched out all the flowers that I need, but I just wanted to show you that. And then also what I did was um, on the stems of the strawberries, I went ahead and took a, a piece of um, a pear pizzazz, and this is probably about a um, probably a cord, uh, like an an inch, and like an inch and a quarter, just because we're gonna we're gonna stamp because of the way the stem is on here. On the, I want to be able to stick it in this way and punch it. So I wanted to go ahead and punch it, I mean, stamp it this direction, not this way. So let, let me show you. So I just took the stem and this is just the outline and I just stamped it onto the pear pizzazz with pear pizzazz ink. And then you have that nice little look and then you just take your punch and plop that in there like so, line it up and then punch it out. So that's that. And then I also, let me show you what I did with the strawberry in this card. So I took a piece of probably, probably a one inch wide, I don't know, this, this was probably not, uh, I don't know what I told you the dimensions are, but I will have all the dimensions in the, um, in the uh, description so that you'll know. But this is probably about a one inch wide strip of your basic white. And what I did on the strawberries is I went ahead and did the outline first in the Calypso Coral. And I went ahead and inked that up and stamped it on my piece of basic white. And I did that full strength because I wanted the outline and the seeds of the strawberry to be really dark. Then I went ahead and took the inside and I inked it up, but I off stamped it three times because I really, I guess it depends on how inky your, your stamp pad is. 
but mine's really inky, so I just went ahead and stamped, 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 and then I went ahead and brought it over on top of the image and stamped it down. And I didn't, you know, I just gave it a nice pressure. Didn't go and see, it's just a lot lighter, and that's probably um, darker than what I even really wanted. So you just gotta figure out. Um, I think I would have liked it a little bit lighter. So let's try that again. Let's go ahead and ink this Calypso Coral up. And then we're going to go ahead and stamp this. Then let's see if I can get it lighter. So I just inked this up, stamped off, stamped off, stamped off. And then bring it on top of your image, line it up. Press down, and I guess don't press too hard. Or see, that's a little lighter. I mean, I kind of like that that look. So it's really whatever your preference is. Um, but I kind of like the lighter, really lighter look for the inside. So I went ahead and did it that way. So I just wanted to show you how I got my strawberries. Okay, so I think that's all the little techniques that I need to show you as far as how I got this card going before I start showing you the card. And also I, I stamped um, on the envelope. Now here I didn't do the stem on the pair of pizzazz because I just wanted it to all be flat. So I did the same thing that I did for the card on the envelope, off, off stamp the flower. But then on the outline of the stamp, I just did it in pair of pizzazz. I write directly onto the white. So it kind of is more of an outline than the solid look that's going to be on the card. So there's that. Okay, so I think we're ready to get started with the card. And like I said, I will have all the dimensions for you in the description. But we're going to start off with a piece of basic white cardstock for our base. And let's just go ahead and get the inside done. I just, I went ahead and stamped, um, that was so sweet of you in the Calypso Coral. And then I put a little bitty um, uh, off stamp the flower there in that corner. And I'm going to take a piece of this designer series paper here. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to the bottom of this card here and on the inside. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to the back and then I'm going to put that on the inside and then the inside of our card will be done. So let's get that done. And I, even though this is basic white and you could easily write on top of this, I like to add another layer because I think it just adds to the way the card looks. Um, I know most people just add another layer. If the if the base card is a color and they add the white on the inside, but I really like that matted look on the inside. So that's why I went ahead and did that. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the outside. So on the outside, I have um, this piece here that we're going to put on the bottom of the front of the card. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. And then, um, and I left a little border because here's the reason why. The original card sketch that I found, um, took the paper all the way to the edge, but he, but I like to get the most out of my designer paper. And since it's a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, if <clears throat> I cut this at four inches wide, then I'll be able to get three across the page, right? If I did it at four and a quarter, then I wouldn't have enough to get three across the page. So this is the only reason why I added the little border. So then with the um, the blue stripe piece that I'm using, 
I cut that down to, I believe, four by four. And then I took, um, there's the um, basic borders. And I left it over at my die cut machine. But there's there's one, let me go grab it real quick because I wanted to show it to you. Um, let me just grab it real quick. And part of the basic borders is this border right here. So what I did is I, once I cut my piece here to four by four, I just went ahead and lined this up at the bottom evenly and die cut it. And then that's what gave me that little scalloped edge there with that, with the kind of cut side corners. I really liked that look. And so this was part of, this is part of the um, basic borders die set. So let's go ahead and attach that. And then uh, allow for that little border and then try to line it up with the, the one underneath. There you go. Okay, so the next, I went ahead and took the designer paper, I think this, I cut this to a three by three square. Then I took the layering circles um, dies and let me show you that. So they come like this, the layering circles. And so I took, looks like the second to the largest of the circle. And then the uh, second to the largest of the, um, scalloped part and we're going to use those two on this card so with the scalloped edge circle i went ahead and die cut out a piece of calypso coral and then with just the circle part i i did the designer series paper and so we're going to go ahead and adhere that to this piece now i'm going to use liquid glue on this because I want to make sure that I have a little wiggle room when I'm trying to line it up with that scallop circle. So I, I'm going to use some liquid glue because that gives me a little bit of wiggle room for aligning it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. And then that way I can look to see if I like the way it looks on all the edges. And have that wiggle room and then I can go ahead and press that down. And because I want, um, I wanna do, I mean, you could definitely pop this up, but I wanted to pop up some other things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this flush flat with the card. So, but there was this little element and I think I'm gonna put that on there. Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put this on. No, I think we're gonna do it the other way. So um, on this piece, I wanna put this up here in this corner. And so the reason why I probably wanna do that first is so that I, if I don't put that too high, see, then it won't fit very well. So that'll kind of give me a guide or I can just kind of lay it up there and then decide where to put this. But what I did with this one is I, to cut out that little tag notch, I went ahead and used this um, Banner's Pick-A-Punch. And if your piece is too little, you're not going to be able to, you know, get it in there. See, it kind of kind of gets lost in there. So one thing that you have to do, and I went ahead and I think I cut this to... Um, uh, probably three quarters by, was it four inches? I don't remember exactly. Like I said, I'll have the, the dimensions and, but that way it gave me some room to, to stick that in there. 
But if for some reason you have a small piece like this and you don't have this punch, you can always just take your piece and cut up the middle a little bit on one of the ends. And we're going to cut up, say, just about a little bit. Then you just cut in from each side right to that middle where you cut where you uh, cut up to. Of course, I'm having a hard time seeing it here. But then if you do it like that, you can kind of make your own little banner if you don't have the punch. You just go from the corner to the middle of that little slit that you made. And if then you would have a nice little banner that you could put there. And if it's too long, then what you could do is when you adhere it, just adhere it where you want it and then cut it off before you, but you would have to do that before you attach that there. So, or you could line it up and, you know, whatever size you want it. But we're going to go ahead and use that piece there. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that while I have it out. And let's go ahead and put that in this corner up here, probably about there. I really like the sketch that I found on this. And so then that way I can go ahead and have a good idea of where to um, mount my circle. So let's go ahead and get some glue on that. And we'll go ahead and attach that. And then we will continue on with our strawberries. So I think that looks about center. And the good thing again with the glue is you can kind of move it around till you have it where you like it. So there we go. We have that attached. Now, let's get working on the other pieces that I've already stamped and punched out. So for the strawberries, I did two and I did two of the stems. So you could put, um, I think I'm just going to put glue on the bottom two because then that way I know that it's going to be on top of the strawberry. So let's attach that stem there and then do the same with the other one. Then our two strawberries will be done. And then I think what I'm going to do then is um, go ahead and I'm going to get my sentiment. What I did on this is, um, again, I made it a little bit longer than what I needed because I wanted to put it in my punch. And uh, when you put it in the punch, you're going to cut off about a quarter of an inch. So I went ahead and this little piece here is um, like three and three quarters by a half an inch. And then when you put it in the punch, it cuts off that quarter. So it ends up being like three and a half, I think. Let's just check real quick here. I think that's what it was, three and a half. Um, the length, uh, yeah, three and a half. So I want that to be kind of just up a little bit. And this one I do want to pop up. So I'm going to use my Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to put probably three on this so that it's very has good stability on my card. 
because when you put it in the envelope and it goes through the machines at the post office, if you don't have it, you know, stable enough, it might get smashed a little. So I'm going to line up the right end with the, with the designer paper. And I'm just going to leave just a little bit of the green at the bottom showing. Okay. Now I just got to decide where I want to put my strawberries. And I think I'm going to put the darker one below. And I'm going to put that up in this corner. And this one I'm going to adhere flat. I don't want any dimensionals on this one. And let's go ahead and place that in this corner up here. And then this one I'm going to pop up. So let's get some more dimensionals. I'm going to go ahead and put two on the back. You could put three, I guess, if you wanted to. Um, but I'm just going to do the two for now. And I'm going to kind of off-center it something like that. There we go. Now on the flowers, I want them all popped up. So I'm going to put a dimensional on all three of them. And these just fit if you get it right in the middle. If, if you feel they're too big, you could always go to the mini dimensionals. But these work just fine. And now we're going to go ahead and Put them in various places on the card. Let's see, I think I want one up in this area. I mean, it, these little flowers are just so cute. I love them. Then let's put another one probably in this area because I want one down right on the banner itself. So I'm going to put that one there. And then the other one we can put on this side. I heard the other day I was watching a video on a lady who was putting embellishments on her card. Actually, it was a um, a retreat that I did over the weekend. It was an online retreat. And she talked about that she was taught that when you put embellishments on that you do it like three, like, in, and then kind of always think about a triangle. And so... I think that does give it a nice look. Okay, so now I think the last thing that we need to do is we need some bling. So on the um, Artistry Blooms Adhesive Back Sequins that's in the catalog, it um, you get like Rich Razzleberry. I think Pale Papaya is one of the colors. Calypso Coral, which would match our card really nicely. But then this um, Postal Cabana is kind of like a blue. So we we could either put blue inside of there or we could put the, I think I'm going to do the Calypso Coral just to tie it all in with, with the colors that's already on the card. No need to add another color. So let's go ahead and I'm going to use my Take Your Pick tool and I'm going to just use the small ones for the flowers. And I'm going to put them in the center of each of the flowers. And you could use the blue if you wanted, um, whatever you like, or any other kind of embellishment that you want to do. So there we go. I think that's cute. I like that a lot. I think I got to say that this is probably my favorite one so far out of the three um, that I've done for this Mo, Mo Joy Monday. So I love this card. This is probably so far my favorite. Then, so it says, thank you on the outside, open it up. That was so sweet of you. What a great thank you card. I love it. There you have it. There is episode three of our Mo Joy Monday, and I hope that you find time to 
go make some cards and play in your craft room that if that brings you joy as much as it does me. So have a great day and we'll talk to you all next time. Bye-bye.